Hello, guys. Welcome back to Jack Mate's Happy Hour. On this episode, we're acting as your agony uncles to help solve your love woes. Well, not really. And also, Jack forgot to keep you guys anonymous, so we're going to have to dub over your names with something along the lines of... What? I can just pick them right now? Pick whatever you want. Okay, boy's name, I'm going to go for Jeffrey. Okay. Girl's, girl's. name, Carla. <laughs> <laughs> So there we go. Enjoy. This is Jack Makes Happy Hour, the love hour. It's from a guy called Jeffrey. We'll bleep that if he says throughout this he wants to be anonymous. Uh, Jeffrey. says, hi Jack, Robbie and Stevie, in brackets, white, 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 very on brand. I'm in desperate need of your help. I've been with my girlfriend for nearly four years now and we have been living together for just over a year. Over the past six months to a year, I have been having doubts over the future of our relationship and if I still want to be with her. It seems like we're both in different places in life and want different things. For example, she wants to get engaged and have kids in the next couple of years, whereas I still want to travel, go out, enjoy life before settling down this isn't too surprising as she is two years older than me i'm 23 she's 25 however it is quite a big deal for me as i feel like sometimes putting my life on hold to keep her happy i feel that he feels like he's doing that basically i'm constantly having to turn down invitations to socialize with friends due to her controlling nature and as a result i feel like i'm losing friendships and secondly, if I do decide to break up with her, how do you go about ending a long-term relationship with somebody you live with? Especially since she has moved five hours away from her hometown to live with me, I would feel like such a cunt if I ended things now. Hopefully this makes sense. It's hard to try and put into words how I'm feeling. Congratulations on the Spotify deal, by the way. I'm a huge fan of the podcast. Cheers, lads. Jeffrey. And he's used the flag again. So quite a serious one there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she, the, the girl's moved five hours to be with him. That's commitment. That is a lot of commitment. He seems like he just wants potentially to live that single life. I think a lot of lads are like this. Um, I was probably like this in the first year of my relationship. You settle down with somebody and you perhaps wonder what it would be like to be single again. I think everyone has a bit of that. I'm not saying it's just lads that think that. Girls probably think that as well. You see, you might surround yourself with friends that are single and still going out and socialising and meeting new people and whatnot, and you don't have that element to your life. Which, let's face it, the single life at times can be exciting. Mm-hmm. That's why that's why people go out and they go courting, as my nan would say. But the grass isn't always greener. I heard a very profound thing once that I kind of stand by. Imagine you're with someone, you've been with someone a long time, you think, oh, I want to go out, play the field, sleep around a bit, maybe, I'm still young. Friday and Friday night and Saturday night comes around, you see your mates going out and do that, you feel like you're missing out. Well, who do they have on a cold Tuesday morning? Who are they waking up to? If you've got your partner who's there on the cold Tuesday mornings, the boring Wednesday afternoons, all the way through the week, if you've got someone through those times, don't let Friday and Saturday sway your mind. Yeah. I don't know if we can add much to that. That's quite nice. Oh, there that was the only, nice. Yeah, the only thing I take... <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, no. Well, you the... took the last one to take heroin. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I take from that is that there was a moment where he said within that, she's controlling. Yeah. Then leave the bitch and take heroin. Yeah, it does sound as well... <laughs> there we go. It does sound he sort of wants to break up with her. And but is a bit afraid of doing it. Mm. But is it just because he's thinking about that green, green grass? Not from but, the first question. Maybe, but then, so so then I guess my kind of semi-serious answer to that would be encouraging him to stay. Here's another point that maybe puts your brain into two, to maybe, maybe makes it harder for you to come to a solution. I was with somebody, I've only ever been with three people in long-term relationships, and, and one of them, I didn't really want to be with, right, for that period of time, like for a year. And because of that, no matter how lovely she was, and she was lovely, I didn't treat her right, really. Now, I'm not going to say I was a cunt or I was like dapper laughs about it or anything, but (laughs) (laughs) I'm over it. I'm over it. There'll be plenty more where that come from. But in the relationship that I have now, I will pat myself on the back and say I'm a a lovely person to be with. I think Fiona would admit that. And I I treat her as she deserves to be tret. And... um, (laughs) I didn't treat my last partner like that because I, I didn't want to be in it. So I think if you're if you're forcing a relationship for the sake of her, she's probably not getting as much out of it as perhaps she should be anyway because you'll probably be, without realising, a bit withdrawn in your approach and a bit standoffish in your, in your approach. You can only really give someone 
everything when you want to. Do you know what I mean? You can't yeah. force that kind of thing. Does that make sense? Yeah. I think, like Steve, you said, I don't think there's any... Like Steve, you said in the previous one, there's no harm in having a little conversation with her, but it does sound like they want different things. Yeah. And that they're probably at different stages of, of what they want to do. I think 23 is quite... Feels quite young. It does to get married and have, have kids? Yeah, it does feel it does feel young. But then I've been with Fiona since I was twenty two. So if I if I took that advice at twenty three, yeah, I wouldn't be where I am now. Yeah, but I'm not saying I, I'm saying it seems that you weren't getting married at twenty two, though. Are you? No, that is true. That is true. But yeah, I think uh, a thing that I'm getting from Jeffrey as well. He seems like he's. He's putting this huge age gap between like she's a fair bit older than me. Twenty two and twenty three and twenty five is not big yeah no. it, in in a few months he might think exactly the same which could be the regret of then losing her mm. i guess we can't really sit on the fence with these because then what are they coming to us for we need to give them quite a distinct answer don't well, we well i think he said he, he, he was talking about um if he did decide to break up with her how do you break up with someone how do you break up with someone oh have the conversation with her that we just said. Have you can't, Stevie, down. for all of these, this is going to be a boring episode no. if you're like, have a conversation with no, her. I'm giving him advice on Start throwing punches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, look, have a conversation with her. Tell her all the things that he doesn't like, like about her being controlling and stuff. Yeah. It will cause an argument and yeah. there's your in. I think make something up. <laughs> what do you mean? So instead of just going, like, I don't really like you anymore, because that hurts, right? And you would have thought, <laughs> you would have thought that you would have realised that before. However, like four years have been together, so make something up and just go like recently. I slept with your sister. No, okay. don't, that's a bad one. Say, uh, <laughs> say like your breath has like started to become potent. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so oh, I'm not no, allowed to say have what? a conversation, but you can tell someone I have smelly breath to dump them. Make make them belittle them, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not saying ja them. Look, Jack is not the right person for this because you just said that you stayed with someone a year that you weren't happy. Yeah, I couldn't so break <laughs> I, I couldn't break up with her as well. I had to wait until she broke up with me. So yeah, there we go. I, that's I, Jack. I'm for that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that's probably the advice on all of us. Yeah, we're, we're convince too her much to dump you. To do it and just, <laughs> just be like unpleasant till she can't be take an anymore. asshole. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those, yeah. those things that she's controlling over, do them anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's the best way to go about this. <laughs> what what the audience need to realise when they're emailing in here is yeah. we are three beta males. That are, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, do you know why I ended up getting in a relationship with this this previous partner? <laughs> because um, we'd we'd meet up on nights out and stuff and have little flings and it was never a serious thing and then one day I was going to Amsterdam with my cousin Reese, and I was sat in the airport and I was like oh she's um just added me as in a listed me as in a relationship on Facebook and we hadn't ever spoke about it and I felt too awkward to say no so I just clicked yes and when I came back she was like come and meet my parents and I went and met her parents and the whole time I didn't want any of it wow. so don't be like me don't be a beta that's, that's, that's mental like beta. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's delta yeah it's delta they, they, I know someone who was um I won't obviously won't mention the name because of what the story I'm about to tell but I um I know someone who was going out with someone that they didn't really they wanted to break up but just didn't want to do the breaking up bit mm. so they started seeing someone else but he said to make himself feel better he was just was totally honest so this this his the girl that he wanted to break up with say oh what are you doing today he goes oh, i'm going out on a date with another girl this evening and she go oh, all right how oh, you're so funny after you know, and she come and go how's your date go yeah no really good we went i had sex with her behind the garages around the around the corner and all this she go, oh yeah that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and she was laughing thinking it was a joke but he was just being completely honest that's amazing he's an alpha that's, that's that alpha, alpha yeah. mood and yeah. So, uh, yeah yeah wish you could do. oh yeah yeah no much much so, better than you actually yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he can have the confidence to do that but not dump her yeah i don't know if he i don't know i don't know what was going on wow there we go so jeffrey treat her bad be an arsehole jeffrey have a bit of have a third dimension to you is that yeah. right? I can't wait until we get the email from her going, you guys are bastards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Recently, my boyfriend sent it to a right arse. <laughs>